Hello everyone, G-Dubs Collects here, and we are back with a great video, something I'm excited about. We're getting a little retail review of Topps Series 2 2020 Baseball. Um, so as you can see here, I, the only thing I don't have is the retail pack, or the gravity feed, feed pack. And the reason for that is I actually opened up some and showed you the... Um, uh, result in my first jumbo box, um, but I think we all know the value you get out of that. It's not as good as the value you get out of the fat pack. Your best value breakdown per card is your hanger box because you're always paying for the relic card that uh, that comes in this one. And uh, this one, instead of I at least like this, instead of the um, draft, it's like this medallion card. So that's kind of cool. That's different. It's a unique card. So. As far as, I, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of manufactured relics, so at least something like that, it's kind of cool. Like the rookie card emblem from Series 1 was really cool. Um, so, we're going to skip the Gravity Feed pack. We're just going to do these three, uh, because I think that these are the three that are really what you should be looking for when you go out for retail. So, uh, we're going to start with the Fat Pack, then we'll go to the Hanger, then we'll go to the Blaster, so we can kind of see what's going on here. So, we'll just do a little little one of these. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, as you guys saw from my previous videos, uh, I've opened two jumbos so far on this and uh, was very excited. It looks like we are going to get a short print of someone and it's going to be a Texas Ranger. Spoiler alert. Um, so obviously the thing you have to watch out for in fat packs is the corners especially of the top couple cards these ones actually look like they are in great shape so it looks like we're okay because obviously all you really have is just this plastic to protect it that's why uh, hanger boxes in my opinion are the absolute best um but i digress so joey gallo will lead us off great inaugural season uh, emblem there. So, like I was saying, uh, Keston Hira, Gold Cup, great card. Trey Mancini. We're going to go through these kind of quickly because I've already shown you pretty much every card. You know, I don't have him yet as a base card. I was still looking for him, and I'm still looking for Bruce Dar Gratterall. So, we'll see if I can get um, get him now. And of course, we want Luis Robert. So I was very lucky. I was able to get um, three Luis Robert in two jumbo boxes. So we're going to have a black border uh, Orioles card. So Blake Snell is backwards. I thought it was going to be a... Oh, you know what? I saw the T and I thought it was Texas Rangers, but it was Blake Snell. So there we go. Blake Snell, short print. Trey Mancini, look at that, very nice, numbered out of 299, in really good condition, which is upsetting because some of the jumbo packs uh, had some really tough, tough cards there. Bob Gibson War, Diaz Rookie Turkey Red, and Peterson, and then we're rounding it out with Pujols, there we go. So, uh, yeah, so I've done very well so far when it comes to Luis Robert. So, obviously, we want to continue that luck. And hopefully, we'll pull him at least once out of these. It's always a uh, luck of the draw type thing. No relic. Um, obviously, I think this is in every video. You want to make sure that these corners are not indented uh, at all because people can push them down and look for relics, which I don't understand because no one really likes relics anymore. Um, and then the easiest way to open them is from the bottom because the, the packs sit right here. So little, little pro tip there. Um, no idea what I was talking about. Sorry. I do that a lot. But yeah, so, uh, obviously we want to get, uh, some more Luis Robert because we always want some Luis Robert and we are going to have another short print. Look at that. That is excellent. That is awesome. So... Uh, I definitely am a huge fan of the hangers. That is, if I have money to spend, I'm buying the hangers. It's the best value um, 
or at least if it's not the best value, it's very close to the fat packs. Fat packs might be like a couple cents better for, uh, for true value. But, um, in my opinion, it's the best value. You're not getting, you're not wasting money on the, uh, manufactured relic. And, um, and especially if you're collecting like the turkey red and this one I should mention this is a Target exclusive hanger box so we're getting the two exclusive Fernando Tatis Jr. highlight cards same with this blaster so if you're obviously in this climate uh, you have to take what you can get um, but if you have a choice like last or series one um, Target's exclusives were um, Luis Arias, Future Stars. Uh, Target's exclusive were the uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. inserts and the Walmart exclusives were the Reese Hoskins. Now, I like Reese Hoskins. I think he's going to have a Freddie Freeman type career where he's just consistently good for, for years to come. Kyle Tucker, Future Stars. Um, speaking of Reese Hoskins, so maybe I should say Luis Robert and he'll show up as well. Um, but uh, I think that Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is the better of the inserts, so I bought mostly the uh, the tar from Target as much as I could. So, but in this Freddie Freeman, <laughs> speak his name and he shall show up. Luis Robert, Luis Robert, Luis Robert. Ooh, we're gonna get a rookie. Ooh, I am very excited. No way, no way. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Andrew McCutcheon, short print, the one everyone is looking for. Holy moly. This video just took a turn. Whoa. I'm gonna very, I'm taking it off camera. I am sleeving this up immediately. Holy moly. I haven't checked. I'll have to uh, insert it into the video, but last time I checked, this was a $250 to $300 card. <sighs> wow. Holy moly. It is such a good card. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, that's incredible. That's just gonna sit. That's just gonna sit right there. And here I am saying how excited I was because I thought this was going to be a uh, uh, J uh, J um, Karin check. I can't spell his, uh, say his name yet, but the strikeout king, I thought it was going to be him. And uh, holy moly, Andrew McCutcheon. All right, so let's get back to the video here, though. I love these cards. These are great, great cards. The design of them, awesome. So um, I'm going to try to get the whole set of that because I think he is just a great... Um, player Albert Pujols love that um, and I think that that's going to be something exciting oh look at that that is a great turkey red as McCutcheon falls in the background thankfully I sleeved him up already all right so gonna have to try to get back on track but this is wow what a pull what a pull out of a hanger box what I'm telling you guys right now is the hanger boxes are the best they really are so Okay. Okay, here we go. Man, I am just, I'm literally still shaking, so. All right, so normally I would try to say, whoa, it's heavy. This is really heavy. Wow. Normally I would try to save these cards because I'm going to do like a whole video on those, but uh, since this is the retail review, I got to show them off. So we will be showing that off in this video. All right, so... Um, Hard to complain in this video because we just got a $250 card, but uh, minimum. But uh, that is if if the market hasn't already fallen on him. I'm um, admittedly not sure about that because I haven't been keeping up on that because as much of a very nice uh, Tim Lopes, Lopez, Lopes, uh, Rainbow Foil rookie. Always good to get a Rainbow Foil rookie. So here we go. Bruce Star Gratterall, the pitcher the Red Sox did not want in the Mookie Betts trade, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt us. Um, rookie Turkey Red, that's great. Oh boy, I am all over the place. Sorry, yeah, I haven't been keeping up on the market of this card because admittedly, I just was like, oh, I'm never going to get that card, and 
since it's just Andrew McCutcheon, I mean, it's just because it's a great card. That's why. It's not because McCutcheon is, I mean, he was a, you know, former absolute stud of a uh, player. But he's definitely, uh, you know, declined in years past. He's he's becoming like a Matt Kemp. I, I think that's the best way to uh, to look at his career. Very nice Fernando Tatis Jr. insert. Love that. Ozzy Smith. Um, I think Matt Kemp is a perfect example of his career. You know, former MVP numbers, you know, uh, and just an absolute rock star that, you know, wasn't able to keep it up for the full career, but just a great, great player um, and someone you definitely still want on your team. He's just not, you know, uh, Karinchek. That's it. That's who I thought uh, we were getting because it's a horizontal um, rookie. So... Uh, before I noticed the McCutcheon short print, I thought we were going to get that card. Ooh, here we go. It's a blue. So these ones are numbered. So, ooh, they're not numbered. Okay. I thought they were. Maybe it's just the black ones that are numbered. Um, stand usual. I love this. I, this, these kind of turkey red, uh, with the stand up and the, like, this is nice, but I love, I love that. It really gives a, a very, uh, throwback vibe to it which is great so yeah uh, definitely haven't been um, keeping up with the McCutcheon value so we'll we'll add that in and uh, <laughs> I am just completely thrown off as to the reason why we're uh, <laughs> the reason why we're doing this video another Sheldon Noyce um, still haven't got the Brewstar Gratterall uh, base card not not numbered decade best but i love the the 80s throwback style there frank thomas all right we got three packs left plus the exclusive medallion and uh, this was going to be a 10 minute video and then we pulled the mccutcheon and uh and that's just kind of thrown everything off <laughs> which is a nice nice problem to have so i can't wait to upload this now this is great here we go, J.D. Martinez uh, home run challenge. Unfortunately, they have postponed this right now uh, with the 60-game season. I think they were afraid Hank Aaron would have loved if Hank Aaron was the same style as the Stan Musial. But I love that the Series 1, they did the current stars, and uh, Series 2 looks like they're doing rookies and Hall of Famers, which is awesome. Really cool. Um, all right, we're going to get something in here. We've got a few inserts, which is nice. We'll say Abreu. So still no Luis Robert sighting. Would love to pull him in one of these last packs. Max Scherzer and a Fernando Tatis. Very nice. So this is not numbered, but there you go. That's where I thought it was going to be numbered. Last series one, it was the black border ones that were numbered. I got a few of those for the Vlad Guerrero. Collins, rookie. Here we go. Brewstar Gratterall. There it is. A very clearly photoshopped background. <laughs> but uh, still, very nice. So that might complete, unless there's another card out there, that might complete my set for series two. We'll see. I'm going to start sorting them tonight. And uh, that's part of my love for collecting base cards is, uh, as I do put together the, the set every year. Um, and, uh, and it's just something I love. It's something I did as a kid and, uh, I started to get back to it two years ago and, uh, there we go. Andy Diaz, gold, George Brett, Victor Robles, and Jose Altuve. All right. So final card here is the medallion card. Would love one of the rookie ones. We're going to get Max Scherzer though. These are these are very nice, except that's horribly off-centered, which is upsetting. They really need to get that stuff together. It's like way up here. But still, uh, hmm, that's cool. So this is all clear plastic, and then this, the medallion, you can actually touch, which is cool. Um... I am a fan of these. I think these are really nice. So, um, not numbered. Some of them will be numbered. I don't think any of them are autographed. But here is the list uh, of everyone. 
and uh, you know off the top of my head here I think I'm gonna try to get the Raphael Devers uh, I think oh definitely the Luis Robert that would be a nice one um, Aquino will probably be a rookie one too so that's really nice so they they will have Jordan will have a, a rookie one Mookie Betts probably in his Dodgers I would imagine Bo Bichette that would be a nice one uh, da, 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 da. unless I am in Gavin Lux up there that's nice unless I am missing someone uh, I don't see another Red Sox on there, so would have loved a Xander or a Chris Sale or a J.D. Martinez, but that's okay. So that is the retail review. Um, <laughs> I think it goes without saying that uh, Hanger Box is still, uh, in my opinion, the, the best. Uh, so here's the rookies. Here's a little rainbow foil. A lot of Fernando Tatis inserts, which is inserts, which is great. Um, and then I had the uh, Trey Mancini, and so I had two short prints out of that, one out of the fat pack, one out of the hanger box, and none out of the uh, the blaster. So uh, very nice with the, the Blake Snell, but obviously the star of the show is the Andrew McCutcheon short print. So that's it. That's going to be the name of the title. It's going to be Massive Short Print Pull. <laughs> anyway retail review uh let me know which one your favorite is and let me show let me know uh what you're seeing in your stores if you guys are seeing uh actual um you know uh restocks because uh, i was able fortunate enough to get some cards from target but uh, there wasn't much left so um thank you guys so much for watching please follow me on instagram and twitter at gdubs collects and remember to keep on collecting